Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. And I'm Jaime in Fuego. Here to do a special review for you guys that was requested by a lot of our viewers as well as some of our patrons. So uh, this one is one that is one I've wanted to do for a while. I actually splurged and bought the Blu-ray about two weeks ago, but mm -hmm. this was the first time we finally had a chance to watch it and uh, do a review again as requested. But today we're going to be talking about Terrifier, mm. starring uh, Art the Clown, uh, and uh, which is a full-length expansion of the short film that was a part of uh, All Hallows' Eve. Exactly right. So he appeared in the first half of that, and then there is All Hallows' Eve 2, which, at least to the best of my knowledge, you know, did, he was not in that. But, I mean, uh, Art the Clown was even before this particular, uh, you know, film and so on. It, it, it was an inception by Damien Leon, the director. And so, uh, yeah, he was, and this is an idea that's been gestating for a very long time. And so, to finally get a feature, uh, it was interesting, I guess I could say the best bit. Well, I, I yeah. mean, you say interesting, I really, really enjoyed it. We'll do vicious. this review like vicious. usual. Yeah, it was very vicious. It felt pretty mean-spirited as well. Yeah. But, you know, honestly, I, I really enjoyed the movie because because it was in that spirit and it was unrelenting and the gore was overflowing, as it were. And, and I love that when I get that in horror movies. I don't get that nearly enough anymore. This is definitely a hardcore throwback to the craziest of 80s style slashers. And that was probably something I had a problem with in the fact hmm. that I, I was just like, man, it was so grotastic. Cared nothing for the characters and, uh, you know, to each their own, obviously, but that was the, I mean, just, uh, you know, type of the era and what we saw more often than not, so. Yeah, you know. it's, uh, yeah, in the 80s there was a lot of that, but this was especially gortastic and especially dark and there was not a lot of character development going on at all like yeah. there was none at all it was all about art and it was all about art stalking his prey and i was fine with that yeah i frankly was fine with that because we get a lot of the other stuff all the time and this was just straight up saying hey this guy is terrifying he's going to terrify you because he's the terrifier Hence you know what the i mean name. like yeah. uh, so <laughs> Uh, I think it was successful in that way. Fuego? Yeah, I would imagine that it it is if you want to look at it like that, but maybe I just want a little bit more from the victims. I don't know. Uh, and maybe a little bit more from him, possible backstory, something of that nature. They really didn't give anything for that. It was well, just he's like, completely silent, too. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, hey, he's here, and he's going to kill more people. That's about it. It's about yeah. all that you're going to see. And... Uh, He's going to kill people in more nasty and fantastic ways. And the, there was one kill that was exaggerated for me, which I'm glad that I saw for what it was. But aside from that, you know, this this didn't blow my mind or shock me in any way. And, you know, like some people were anticipating I was going to feel. It was, uh, it was solid, though. You know, and uh, yeah, that's about all I can expect for a throwback type film like this. So yeah, Bone you know. Tomahawk took away the shock of of uh, that particular <clears throat> thing yeah. transpiring. Yeah, but uh, but nonetheless, <laughs> it was still an enjoyable film. I thought, yeah. and uh, so let's let's talk about the story. I mean, the story is just two girls trying to find their way or get get home after a night of partying and hanging out, and on their Halloween. car dies on Halloween. <laughs> And, uh, and so they are near this building and they're waiting for one of the girl's sisters who has to drive a long way to get them. Uh -huh. And so they're stuck there and one of the girls has to really pee. Uh -huh. And so she goes inside this building and uh, they've already encountered Art at this point though, right? Because they yeah, went into they a saw, pizza place. Dude, they saw him in the diner and if I'm remembering oh, the, diner, that's right. the original All Hallows' Eve, there was a similar just kind of beat with you know them encountering the clown in an eatery of some sort and then things went from there and as i even read further i guess art the clown has existed for uh damien in various shorts and different like he was one of his initial in inceptions when he really? started doing short films and stuff like that he wanted this character to be there and to be kind of a constant thread and so yeah you get that theme pretty early on, and then you realize, oh, we're going to go to the industrial area, and that's where stuff is going to get really nasty, because that's where, just like in All Hallows' Eve, he was doing the torturing and the killing, and 
stuff like that. So. I need to rewatch that because I don't remember. I remember liking that part a lot, but I don't mm-hmm. remember exactly what he did. And it was probably because of the gore. So that's probably why I mm-hmm. like this one so much. It was just a, a continuation. So the story itself could be considered, I think, uh, lacking for some people. I mean, is it was it for you? I, I'm fine with a killer just trying to kill people in an entire movie, but you seemed a little bit bored with it. Well, I mean, it just seemed like an expansion on the initial idea that I saw previously, you know? I mean, it was like, okay, we get 90 minutes of him doing what I'd seen him do before, and, you know, killers kill in kind of uh, habits and patterns and stuff like that, so it all made sense to to some degree, but the gore factor, I, I felt, was definitely upped in this particular film. Uh, there was... If we're going to segue into acting, most mm-hmm. of the characters didn't really wow me <laughs> or anything like that. Uh, I was more amused by the blondie who gets carted off earlier on than I was the the sister mm-hmm. and the, you know, girl in peril more so. The but... would-be main character um, looked like a slightly grown-up version of the girl that played Penny in the 97 Lost in Space. Yes. <laughs> I was like, it's a good, very specific call, reference, dude. but she did. She looked exactly yeah. like that if she had been a little taller and her voice had been a little bit deeper. Mm-hmm. Um, but I thought she served her purpose just fine, uh, but no one was really that impressive. Even the, the janitor... Um, who came back later on, didn't really do much for me. Yeah, not even Chrome Dome was really too <laughs> incredibly interesting. He does pop up later on in it, but uh, you know, I, I, I had weary assumptions about him initially. We're not going to give like you know total uh, verdict or whatever, but yeah, he was okay enough you know, in the very few scenes that you've seen him in. But it, it, it really boils down to, I, I will give the just emotive and like mannerisms and stuff of this clown Mm -hmm. you know art himself yeah art himself is very creepy he made the insane he is he's up there with pennywise for me yeah yeah Yeah, pennywise and the killer clowns he is Mm -hmm. like in the top three for scariest clowns i've ever seen on the screen i agree with you i agree with you he he definitely he definitely earns that place too yeah uh because he's all over yeah his (laughs) smile is so huge it's insane yeah and it's like blacked out teeth, so it's really unnerving. And, and then he'll like do his mannerisms, and he'll be like, "Yeah." You know, and you like, even see at one point in the film where he's like maintenance, he's doing his own makeup, and he's putting the blood and shit in his teeth and making his teeth look nasty. And it, it's the teeth that really just does it for me. You know, the teeth and the smile and everything, because teeth are a part of that. So. But he is so yeah. disturbing, and even more so than you saw in the short. Like, he is like there's. A bit of a sort of nod to an older 80s slasher um, yes, that is yeah. truly it's, creepy and a disturbing. You, but yeah. you're, you're at least like like heightening my remembrance of one in particular. Yeah, that one is just disturbing, and let's just say it's it's a costume in itself that uh, that art puts on. Yeah, and it <laughs> is totally messed up and you're just like wow the imagery in this movie is disturbing and art is really effed up it's way beyond what i was expecting to and even as because we had some food and i was like dozing for a second during that particular part and you're like dude did you not see this and then when we went back i was like oh there was like manipulated mangled this and that and then i was like oh boy yeah yeah, I was like, oh, you got to go back and see this, man, because this was really trippy, gross stuff. Thankfully, so, we did the rewind factor, and then the full correlation was in progress, and I was like, Ugh. Yeah, yeah. And, and it just really goes to why this actor did such a great job as art. He was mm-hmm. truly disturbing. Uh, but it's just straight a, up gross, man. Yeah, it, it but, he, really, but he's really disturbing is. in an almost funny way, too, which is why... Mm-hmm. I'm sure a lot of people smiling, really, really like he's him. Because he's smiling yeah. throughout. <laughs> and, he, and at one point, he gives the he flips the bird to someone that yeah. that's, you know put you know puts him on hold for just a second, as yeah. it were. Um, so anyway, there's some dark comedy in this film for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so the acting was was well and good um, for art. Anyway, everything else mm-hmm. was kind of meh. But but the actual cinematography of the movie was really sort of down and dirty, gritty '80s horror movie it wasn't really anything to write home about as far as slow movements like coming off of hereditary as we record this like that was very deliberate you know 
big budget cinematography type stuff and, and this yet, and doesn't go that, for that and yet this is very effective in what it did yeah and yet that didn't even have like a massive budget that was just being much more ambitious mm -hmm. uh and i mean at least as far as what they were going for visually this one was confined close quarters you know you're at this like warehouse uh <laughs> boy i don't know just Type of confined, uh, you know, machinery esque type spot, and there's not really much that you can do when you're in these confined quarters as much. But uh, they they use them to, to full effect, and that nasty ambience which we'd seen in All Hallows Eve and you know previous times with Art the Clown, uh, it was just further continuity and you know, just further just building of his character and the fact that he likes to hang out in weird warehouses and uh, you know. That's cheap for filmmaking, which I guess for Damien and his team was probably good, and why Dread Central picked this film up and distributed it. And uh, yeah, I mean, good good for them. It it fit the mood. It it fit everything they were trying to do with the uh, you know writing process of this movie for me. Yeah, definitely. And uh, so let's segue into the effects. We we did say that it was super gore tastic, but guys, yeah. I mean, I wasn't like I had an idea because I'd heard it was crazy but this was so much crazier with the amount of on-camera practical gore effects that you get compared to so many movies nowadays it's one it's scene amazing. in particular one scene two in scenes in particular for me oh, i mean right. there's there's the there's the there one the towards one the end that, that i showed you and then there was the one that everyone knows about the one that everyone knows about was the one that i like glimpsed over to you and you were like oh are you not okay with this is it like too much for you dude you, you, <laughs> you were you were thing. grimacing you were like you were having it trouble watching it. It made me sad, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and I guess that's what real, legitimate, genuine, like, nasty, hardcore, uh, uh, <laughs> physical gore, just seeing somebody cut up. Yeah. I don't, I don't like it. I, I mean, when it's people doing it to people, it just bumps me out. It, well, it just, that's the point yeah. of horror movies. So, uh, I know. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, I thought the gore was extraordinarily effective. I mean, he just gets spattered with blood throughout the whole movie and I like that he's smiling throughout yeah. he's like spattered yeah, yeah. and his Calling fingers and his way you know his waves are like the creepy like this and his fingers are all gory and bloody still and the white once white gloves are now all stained with mm -hmm. blood and everything I feel like there's a reason behind that uh, <laughs> sort of clothing in that case anyway yeah I'm, I tell you what I'm excited as heck to meet the actor that does Art the Clown at yeah. Mad Monster because man it's... Oh, was he going to be there at yeah. Mad Monster oh you didn't know yeah no yeah I they didn't. announced he's going to be there well, that's why I, guess, I said I'm well, going to have him you, sign the well, shirt well I guess you found your <clears throat> interesting yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's so a wiser choice for me <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to have him sign our uh, coexist shirt under the clown Ooh. so yeah I'm I'm excited to meet the guy um, because he did such a tremendous job no he was great he was great supremely foreboding and everything we've seen him in in all of Damien's stuff and so props to you dude you really <laughs> scared the shit out of us like myself specifically so yeah, <laughs> so, yeah guys we uh, well I really I think I liked it a little bit more than you but uh, I think we both really kind of enjoyed this one no no it was good and I know you were constantly calling out the soundtrack and the score yeah there was the one that, it, it was uh, very was reminiscent of Halloween that you know we're just calling back to the like, Halloween has a has a, a, a piano thing that goes dun 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 outside of the main mm -hmm. score there's when he's chasing after them, it's just this one note over and over again. And they do the same thing. It's not the same note, but they do the same thing um, a couple different times in Terrifier. Yeah. And so it was a, a, I, I'm sure it was just an homage, but uh, but yeah, it was very reminiscent of the Halloween score. I still can't get over making love out of nothing at all from Strangers 2 this past year. That's, God, it was such an iconically amazing attempt to kill scene. That I still it need just, to see that movie. Yeah, you really do, dude. Lee like, will not shut up about that movie. It's not as good as he thinks it is, but the scenes in it that are really good are really good. But this was really good. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't love it, but I will say that Art is an icon at this point. Mm -hmm. He genuinely is, and he was the one that made the movie for me. Just that expression is what I will never forget. It's going to haunt my nightmares forever. Mm -hmm. Especially as somebody who was frightened from clowns to begin with. So, thanks, Damien. <laughs> you really did a great job from a Hallow's Eve on in 
just messing my mind up. Appreciate you, bro. Exactly. Uh, and, you know, hopefully we'll get more art going forward. But until next time, I think that covers it for our review of Terrifier. Thank you all for requesting it. Thank you to our patrons for requesting it. And uh, I think this might end up having been a review that was released early on Patreon Ooh. and is uh, going to be released eventually on the regular channel. So mm -hmm. uh, thank you guys very much for being a part of our of our viewership and supporting the channel however you do. We yeah. were excited to watch this movie, so I'm glad we finally did. Indeed. Uh, let us know in the comments down below if you are fans of this movie or not so much, or if you're watching this on Patreon, uh, make sure you leave a comment in one of the threads letting us know, or start a thread yourself letting us know. Uh, if you can do that. I'm not even sure if they can do that yet. There's a lot to learn know. about Patreon. We yeah, just we're still it. figuring it out. <laughs> so, thank you guys very much for watching. I've been Cecil Laird. Gracias. I've been having We love you. And remember... Stay scared.